Hi everybody, before I start out, sorry for the fan, but, um, yeah, I've, uh, I have a lot of noise here and it's the only thing that kind of makes a little level sound, and, uh, I have no other place to record, so, this is good. Anyway, and this is going to be a long video, and if you don't like Clock and Dead, uh, click off now, because it, that's all it's going to be about. I decided not to start a review of the episodes, but, uh, Melissa and Perceptible Me, was interested in the show, but never got into it at the right time. I want to kind of know the story so far. So I'm going to do a loose telling of what's happened over the first two seasons. And then a little review of last night's episode. So yeah, if you want to stick around. And I know I'm going to forget some stuff and leave some stuff out because there's too much stuff. But here we go. Um, the first season starts out with Rick and Jane and their cops. And uh, they're in a car. And they get a call, and it's like bank robbers or something. And they go chasing, you know, uh, put ass pike strips, dudes, Rick. And they get out, and there's a gun battle, and Rick gets shot. Well, next thing you know, uh, Rick wakes up. And, you know, he's kind of disoriented, and he just don't know what's going on. Well, when he finally does get up and get to moving, he sees the powers out, he sees, uh, and just everything's shambles. He goes and starts walking around the hospital, and he just sees things that ain't right. And he sees, like, a door that says, don't open this door, and, you know, he hears moaning, but he don't understand that. Anyways, he gets outside, and he finally sees his first walker. And, yeah, then he starts walking around, and he starts trying to walk to his home, and... This little boy thinks that he's a walker and hits him in the head and the boy and his dad drag him in his house and yeah, they fill him in on what's happened. He ends up helping the boy and his dad because he's the sheriff of the town and he gives them weapons and stuff. And he decides he himself is going to go to Atlanta because that's where he thinks his family will be. And that's where he hits to. He hits there in his car, and then when his car runs out of fuel, he hits there on a uh, horse. And when he gets in Atlanta, he runs into like tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of zombies. And there's some people in a building right above the intersection where he's at. And one of them hollers at him on the radio because he's in this tank. And, you know, tells him, come here and here and here. I'll help you out. Well, he meets up with those people, and they figure out a way to get out of Atlanta and get back to where all their people are staying, and Rick goes with them. Well, when they all get back to where they're at, uh, Rick sees that his son and his wife are there, amazingly, and uh, his deputy are all there. And one thing I've, I've admitted that I'll put in right here that helps to understand some of the drama in the story is Rick's deputy told his wife that uh, he was dead and they've been sleeping together and fooling around, you know, like you would, though, you know, you need somebody in the end of the world. Anyways, <coughs> they all, you know, they all see that they're there. Well, Rick um, pretty much has to go back to town because one of the people there, he's left his brother on top of the building, he's left his guns in Atlanta, so they have to go back to Atlanta. They do that, they run into this one group that's uh, got a nursing home full of people they're keeping alive, and, um, you know, they, they figure out there ain't much reason to stay in Atlanta, and they decide to go to uh, the CDC. Well, they go to the CDC, and there's one scientist left there, and he's trying to figure out some stuff, but he's only got a limited amount of time because um, the building's set, you know, after so long to just blow up, and, you know, they get to stay there a few days, have a little bit of rest, but and he tells Rick something, and I'll tell you it now because, you know, if you, if you want to start on season three, you'll hear this at the end of season two. Everybody's got the virus. But anyways, uh, 
you know, they get out of there, that place blows up, and they decide to head to Fort Benning, Georgia. Well, uh, the second season starts, and they're on their way to Fort Benning. They run into this uh, mess of cars on the road, and they're trying to move them, you know, we're pushing them with vehicles and everything else. And when they're all, you know, deciding to take a break and forge through the vehicles, there's this herd of zombies that come through. Now I have to hide, you know, do all this stuff, try to not get killed. Well, one of them in the group, this little girl, she ends up getting scared and running off in the woods. Well, everybody has to go look for her. And that's basically most of the first half of the second season is them looking for her. Uh, when they go out looking for her, though, Rick's son, you know, they're all gone, you know, that they're looking. Rick's son, uh, he, they're all, they're looking at the deer. He gets shot. They're like, oh, fuck, you know. Uh, well, the dude that shoots him is a hunter. And the house he's staying at has a guy that is sort of a doctor. He's a veterinarian. Well, they see that dude. You know, they take off running. They run him in there. The guy stabilizes him. And then uh, he sends, you know, he sends the guys out for um, medicine and stuff that's at the local high school. The local high school is surrounded by zombies. And. He sends Rick's deputy and the guy that shot the kid. And they get the stuff and they make it out alive. But the guy that sh uh, Rick's deputy is kind of not all there. And kind of selfish. And he shoots Otis, the, you know, the guy that shot the kid. And, you know, comes back himself. And that just starts a storyline of him being crazy. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, pretty much the second season is just them being there on the farm. You find out middle ways through the season that Otis had found the little girl. She's already dead, and she's in the barn. Because the guy that, Herschel, is the guy that owns the farm, and he is under the assumption you could save the people, uh, that there would be a cure. So he was just putting people in the barn instead of killing them. His wife was in there and all that shit. And Shane ends up, you know, breaking open the barn and they all kill all of them. It's kind of shocking. It's probably one of the best parts of the second season. But if you're watching this, you know, this is full of spoilers. But if you're trying to catch up without watching a bunch of, you know, this is for you. Uh, the, then the second half of the second season is all of them dealing with what happened at the mid season with Shane doing that. Uh, there's drama between Shane and, uh, Herschel, there's drama between Shane and Rick, there's drama between, uh, you know, it's just drama all around. Uh, but, by the time you get to the end of the season, there's enough drama that people, you know, were getting ready to kill each other, uh, and Shane's wanting to kill Rick. And he sets up this elaborate plan to get Rick out in the woods and kill him. Well, Rick kills him. And there's this herd of zombies that have been wandering around that nobody's even seen. And when Rick kills him, they don't hear that. But when he comes back to life as a zombie and Rick's son shoots him, um... It alerts all those zombies, and the zombies attack the house, and pretty much it gets caught on fire, everything gets destroyed, and they all have to run. And some of them die. I mean, there's one good thing about the show, though. A lot of people, you think, oh, they won't kill them. They're too nice. No, they die. And it happens a lot. But I love that. Uh, but they all take off. And that's pretty much the end of season two. The beginning of Season 3 was a whole lot better than all of Season 2 because they've been out on the road a few months and they're just, you know, it starts out they're just killing the hell out of some zombies. And they keep trying to figure out a way to get around and get away from so many zombies because there's so many out there. 
and uh, they end up stopping at this one spot and when they go hunting they look and they see this prison so they decide to take the prison and they get in there they kill a bunch of zombies get in the courtyard and they, you know they work their way through they work their way through and it's really exciting and they work their way through and then they get in this one part and Herschel's with them for some stupid reason he's an old guy he's in there, in there killing the zombies with him he gets bit well Rick chops his leg off and that's where the episode ended before last night's episode and here's my short review of last night's episode it kicked ass uh, Rick can be a really wishy-washy character but Rick in last night's episode uh, pretty much said I've got you know I've got to do what I've got to do and that's what he does I mean he, all the kills in it are fairly justified and it's just it's just some really good drama uh, the drama between him and his wife is great I mean she's trying to spark it back together you know and she knows she's pushed it too far and just the drama of wondering would Herschel live and the fact that he does is it's very uplifting to me uh, yeah I thought it was a really good episode I thought the first two were really good um, the, I don't know if this would be more of a review or just me gushing about it because <laughs> I do like the show I even like the second season even though I did think it was fairly slow but uh, yeah if you if you if you've never watched it and this inclinates you to watch it I think you would enjoy it but if you don't like zombie I mean I've been trying to convert anybody who want to watch to watch it because it's good drama even above it being a you know good zombie show but I'll shut up now. I've went on for almost 13 minutes. I hope this is helpful to you, Melissa, and to anybody else. And yeah. Have a good day. I'll try to do a review of next week's episode, and it'll be a whole lot shorter. Have a good day. Bye.